to ETS. I'm Donna Lopez and this is your channeled message for March 17th through to the 23rd. So I'm looking at my calendar. I'm a channel so I bring in the information as I get it. <clears throat> so let's begin. Let's see. We're going to look at the 17th, 18th, and 19th uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and let's see what they have. Hmm. I hear fear. I hear fear. So there's some of you that there's a trepidation and a fear, like what's going to happen or um, just nervous, ener in, um, nervous energy. And I'm also hearing participation. So I feel like there might be something you're going to be a part of. And yet you're, you're kind of, uh, there's just this fear energy building up. Um, so, you know what, I'm just going to drop in right now and just kind of, for those of you that are feeling that fear, I'm just going to kind of open up and let's just go to this place where yeah, let's dissolve that. In other words, too, you know, the way I'm seeing it dissolved, it's it's energy. Okay, so that can, as it's um, dissolving, it's not like I'm letting it necessarily leave us. We want to keep that energy, but we want it, uh, the way they're showing it, is it's being like spread out. Think of it as a bucket of water that's ready to bust. And you put a little hole in it and the, wa and the water starts to spread out and starts to feed everything around it, all right? In a good way. There we go. You know, sometimes we just get too full, too full of emotions, too full. All right. Let's see. All right. They're also saying don't question yourself. Um, I'm seeing, uh, they said if you see something and you question it, they said trust your instincts. You're seeing it correctly. So that's just your confirmation. Don't doubt yourself what you're seeing. And if you're wondering, is somebody okay? Are they saying things that are not true? Uh, are they playing me? That kind of thing. And I see, you know, they're saying, you know, you're getting the hit correctly. There's not so much that there's something you to, for you to do about it. But um, I also sit here too that they've changed. So this might be somebody that's coming back into your vibration that was not around you and they've come back around and they're different. They're just, and you know, we're just very often, we're just not in an energy match any longer. That's how that works. All right. <clears throat> All right. I see a lot of healing for a lot of you on, on the 19th. It's almost, um, let's see, I don't think we have, no, we don't have a full moon then, but for some reason I'm seeing the moon uh, light also healing you. Um, so, it, but it is not a full moon that I can see. I can't tell on my calendar real well, but I am hearing moonlight and seeing moonlight. So the healing is coming in. All right. And the moon actually does represent your emotional self, but also I feel like it's helping you to see the parts that need to be healed. So it, it, it will heal easier. And the lesson is learn. They're saying time to love yourself and forgive yourself. Bring more comfort, more love to you. All right, we're going to look at the 20th and the 21st, which is uh, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I see really happy. I think some of you are getting ready to take off on either a, a, a little road trip or something, but it's like you, you can't wait. It's like your heels are kicking up before you even get out to the car. So, you know, all that uh, anticipation and excitement is there, you know, really looking forward to a fun and good time. And uh, they said that it will be a fun and good time. They said things are going to go smoother than you thought. Um, it's it's like you'll just be a natural. So um, because I feel like this trip has to do with, um, I don't know, somehow it has to do also with being able to do what it is that you're going out to do. So, yeah, however that fits for you. I'm also hearing the name K uh, or the letter K but I'm feeling like K-A-Y. Um, all right, mother, grandmother figure that's stepping in on the 20th um, to really touch in and say um, hello. And so, yeah, I feel like they were sick for a while. They're bringing their energy in, and I feel like I was sick and, like, my stomach was affected along with it. Um, and just like, and I, I want to say with love, I'm hearing the word putrid. So there was something that was like, maybe smells affected their tummy, something like that. But, um, they want you to know that, um, yeah, blessings that they have, uh, relaxed and they, they're, they're doing better of course. And, um, 
You know, sometimes we take some time, though, when we transition to really ca recalibrate and really get our energy balanced because whatever we leave with sometimes, we'll have to work through that and with that. But what I'm seeing is, though, they said it's like the lion or the lamb laying with the lion. There's an innocence. And so it's like uh, this person has learned to... Um, feel more safe, more secure, you know, that they could lie with the lion and that the lion would be peaceful. That that's a circumstance that wouldn't seem to be safe or okay is safe and is okay because there's just this beauty and this healing all around it. So, yeah. All right. Let's look at the 22nd and 23rd. Um, okay, I'm hearing all around the watchtower. Um, that's an old song. Um, I don't know how that song goes, but but I, a watchtower, you know, a tower in general could mean a separation, divorce. But um, I feel like there's something circling the camp. It's like things are getting ready to dissolve or separate, but I feel okay with it. I, it could be a business venture even, but something's getting ready to uh, dissolve and separate and uh, you go your way, I go my way. And I, I feel okay with it because I feel as though one of these people or, uh, yeah, it's, it's a, I don't know. I want to, I don't want to box anybody into a certain situation that's between two people because it could be between two groups, but one of them is, um, much more successful or much more driven or has a higher vision than the other. And that doesn't mean that the other is not good or okay. It just means they want to climb and, and evolve and, and unfold in a, in a broader way. And so the separation will be good because, you know, when you're trying to drag somebody uphill that doesn't want to go up there, it's, it's weight. All right. And, uh, for the person that doesn't want to go up there, who wants to be dragged anywhere, you know, maybe they're perfectly happy right where they're at. Not everybody wants to do things in big ways. Sometimes they're the battery so that others can do the things they want to do. All right, let's look at the 17th through to the 23rd as a whole. I want to see if I get a message for that whole week. I'm hearing follow. But I also hear follow me. But not as in me as somebody else. Follow me. Like you're going to look in the mirror and say, I'm going to follow me. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. My energy. Follow my energy. All right. Listen to how you're feeling. Listen to what your energy wants to do, what it doesn't want to do. That will serve you best. Let's see if I get anything else. Uh, for some of you, you're going to take some chances, but I feel okay. It's like, um, I see you coming out through a parachute, but I feel you holding on like the parachute already open. You're just holding on and just enjoying yourself. Like you've already taken the leap of faith. And, uh, I feel like things are happening in a really beautiful rhythmic way. In other words, you're not going to open that chute and come down really fast. Be nice and easy and you'll be able to like, oh, wow, I did it. I, I took that leap of faith. I did it. I also see a new car for some of you. I don't know if it's white or like a, it's almost like a white or a yellow, but a special kind of yellow, kind of like a lighter yellow or something. Um, yeah, pretty, but I feel that more towards the 22nd, 23rd, excuse me, a little itch. Um, Hmm. Let's see. What else is there? Uh, for a lot of you, I feel like you are really um, strengthening uh, what it is that you do. It's like um, making sure that whatever you do, that you, you know that that everything is in place. Like when you jump out of that plane, that that parachute opens, right? Um, but I feel like it's more so of um, securing everything so that everything's ready to go. I feel really good about it because I feel for some of you that this is going to be a bigger um, experience than what you might have had in the past, but you're absolutely prepared. Um, they said that actually as you move through that week that you're going to be able to kind of let the air out and go, oh, okay, you know. Um, not that you're uptight, but let's just say you're packaged kind of tight to do the work. And then as the work is done, it's like, oh, wow, I can let a notch out my belt. 
Yeah. Like able to breathe, relax. Like, okay, that was cool. That was different. Mm -hmm. There's also a Brenda that's popping into my awareness all of a sudden. She's ooh, really bringing me some interesting energy. Um, I feel like this person might have not been in their right mind space when they transitioned. Um, almost as if, I don't want to, I don't know if it's under the influence so much as, um, maybe the medications or something to do with their head or their brain, because I feel something around the head. Um, yeah, they're just saying, they're saying the word surrender and they're actually saying that they want you to surrender, surrender to what it is that you're doing, that you want to do. Align with it, surrender to it. Hmm. Yeah, okay, she's talking about being a people pleaser too. Um, that to not be such a people pleaser. She says stay in your lane um, and focus on the road ahead. Um, but she doesn't mean like in the future, the road that's right in front of you. Stay in your lane. You know, sometimes it, while we can admire someone else in their way of doing whatever they do, if we try to become them or we get too aligned with their energy, we're not in our energy. So it's important that you stay in your energy because your energy is really good, really awesome. All right. I see opportunities for a lot of you too in that week. Okay, so if there's new jobs or anything else you want to try, jump onto that. I'm grabbing the card here. All right, the only goal... I will go where I can truly be, where I will fully shine. In all decisions and all life choices, I act and think according to the ultimate goal of my fulfillment. I let no one come between me and my goal, nor will any obstacle stop me. I am not afraid of being judged, for only I know what is good and true for me. I transcend duality and I live fully. So be it. So there's the path ahead and there it is. All right. So. Thank you all so very much. Have a great week.